Chick why you can't just swan dive or pilot your spaceship into a black hole, you must first understand the basic properties of these gravitational goliaths. Simply put, a black hole is a place where gravity is so strong that no light, or anything else, for that matter, can escape. Black holes are aptly named because they usually don't reflect or emit light. They are only visible when they are feeding on stars or gas clouds that stray too close to their boundary, called the event horizon. Beyond the event horizon lies a truly minuscule point called a singularity, where gravity is so intense that it infinitely curves space-time itself. This is where the laws of physics, as we know them, break down, meaning all theories about what lies beyond our just speculation. Holes seem exotic to most of us, but they are commonplace to scientists. Physicists had toyed with theories about similar objects for decades before Albert Einstein's general relativity predicted their existence. However, the concept wasn't really taken seriously until the 1960s, when extremely compact stars were discovered. Today, black holes are considered an ordinary part of stellar evolution, and astronomers suspect our Milky Way galaxy holds millions of them alone. Choose your black hole adventure Black holes come in different varieties and can be modeled with different levels of complexity, like whether or not they spin or have an electrical charge. So if you jumped into one, your exact fate might depend on which sort of black hole you choose. If you were free floating in space near a stellar mass black hole that wasn't feeding on anything, your only hint that it exists might be the gravitational magnification, or lensing, effect it could have on background stars. As you flew closer to this strange spot, you would be stretched in some directions and squished in others, a process that scientists call spaghettification. This is because the black hole's gravity compresses your body horizontally while pulling its light taffy in the vertical direction. If you jumped into the black hole feet first, the gravitational force on your toes would be much stronger than that pulling on your head. Each bit of your body would also be elongated in a slightly different direction. You would literally end up looking like a piece of spaghetti. As you fell into a stellar mass black hole, you probably wouldn't worry much about the existential mysteries you might be able to unlock on the other side, could be as dead as spaghetti shaped doornail hundreds of miles before you hit the singularity. And this scenario isn't entirely based on theory and speculation, either. Astronomers witnessed such a tidal disruption event back in 2014, when several space telescopes caught a star and are too close to a black hole. The star was stretched out and shredded, causing some of the material to fall beyond the event horizon, while the rest was flung back out into space. Of course, no matter what type of black hole you fall into, you're ultimately going to get torn apart by the extreme gravity. No material, especially fleshy human bodies, could survive intact. So once you pass beyond the edge of the event horizon, you're done. There's no getting out. Even if you were still alive, you'd have to travel faster than the speed of light in order to escape. But as we know, nothing in the known universe can do that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video.